Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to retrieve your MS SQL Server 2005 Express database to your Visual Basic .NET program. Okay, first thing is I'm going to show you my database. I have my database here with the name of tutorial and I have a table here of phone book. In my phone book table, I have a phone number field and a full name field. I have uh, three records here with a 000 and Mr. Akwasidan and this one. Okay, if you want to see my table properties, uh, here is a. Uh, I have my primary my primary key here, my phone number with a data type of bar, bar char or variable character with a max length of 50. Okay, and I have here a. Uh, column name here also with full name of bar char also and I allow null since it is just a default okay I'm going to close it now now let's start the program or let's create the program now here I mean okay here in my show records program I have a form only here since I did not yet design my form so I'm going to design it for a bit I'm just going to drag some label here and just going to change the name of the lab label into phone book records okay and then I'm going to drag some data grid view here let's resize and okay that's it we're going to start the coding now double click now on the form to go into the for private sub form one underscore load okay but we're not going to start the coding in this code in this sub I mean first thing we need to do we're going to declare first our import since we are using Microsoft Access or I mean sorry Microsoft SQL Server 2005 Express database our import will going to be import space system that data that SQL client okay. this is the import we need to use when we are using MS SQL Server 2005 Express database Okay, and then we're going to declare our global variable for SQL connection. Let's type here dim con as new SQL connection. This will serve our, our SQL connection. The variable con. Okay. Now let's start in the form1 underscore load now. Here, let's type here try. Okay, and let's declare some string here type here dim my const string as uh, string and then equals data source just copy my code for a bit it's equals to aquasidan dash pc then 1769 oops that should be comma Okay, and then after that, let's type your network library. It's equals to DBNS SOCN initial catalog. It's equals to tutorial. And then my credentials, user ID is Akosidan, password is equals to Codemasters. Okay, and that's it. Let's put now our connection string. Let's type con that connection string is equals to my con string. Oops, this should be my constraint.
oops what happened here I forgot sorry sorry this is not C sharp so I should not be placing that semicolon there oops let's type here again my constring okay now I specify my connection string now here let's try to open the connection con that open and con that close and then message box that show connected just a uh, indication that our that we have connected to our database and for example if we have error we can just display it into the message box type here x dot to string oops and then okay that's it in my connection string here you can see my data source is a cosidan dash pc since my server is a cosidan dash pc here my sql server database if you don't know how to or if, if you haven't set up your sql server 2005 express database for remote connection you can just view my other videos on how to allow ms sql server for remote connection okay so to the program in my 1769 is the port i need to use or the port designated for my sql server 2005 database in the remote connection network library is dbmss ocn this is the network library we need to use when we are using tcp or ip or name pipes for remote connection of sql server and then initial catalog is my database name as you can see in here my database is tutorial oops my database is tutorial and then my user id is okay it's just input by me okay and then let's check if we are uh, if our program connect to our database okay it's connected so it is available now it's time for us to retrieve the records we can just erase this since we're not going to update the database we're just going to display the records coming from the database okay if you notice i did not rename my data grid view here so the default name is data grid view one okay here i'm going to declare some data table let's type here dim dt as new data table okay and then after that i'm going to declare my sql data adapter let's type here dim da as new sql data adapter in my sql data adapter i'm going to select asterisk from phone book comma con okay here i'm going to select all the records coming from the phone book table here if in case you want only to get the records of the phone number field you can just replace the asterisk with the field you want to use let's say for example i want to use full name you can just make it like this okay since in this tutorial i'm going to use the select asterisk okay and then after that we're going to fill our data table type here da dot fill since we're going to retrieve the records now here and then after that get the name of your data grid since my data grid uh, did not rename it a while ago my default name is data grid view one dot data source is equal to dt that oops that should be default view okay and then uh, we're now ready to start our 
we're going to show if the records is really displayed okay you can just press F5 or click the play button here connected and then okay see here guys I display my database records into data grid view thanks again for watching guys and uh, if you like the video you can just subscribe to my channel and thanks again for watching